Hey everyone, this is Tony from PocketNow.com and what I have here is an international unlocked Samsung Galaxy S2 running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich the official way. And if you have a phone like I do, you have every right to be excited because Samsung has finally decided to start the rollout process as of yesterday. The update is available in several regions of Europe and Korea. If you live in the UK, you'll be able to flash this one around March 19th, but until then, we're going to show you in this quick video what you can expect from the official ROM so stay tuned. So here we are with Android 4.0.3 as you can see here. It's the official ice cream sandwich RAM for the Galaxy S2 and this final version isn't that much different from the leaked one which we saw a couple of weeks ago. Still, there are a couple of slight changes, for instance, in the TouchWiz department. Regardless of how many home screens you have set up in the leaked version, or regardless of how many screens in your application drawer, whenever you have reached the first or the last screen in the application drawer or on your home screens, you had a slight tilting effect which showed you that, hey, this is the first or the last home screen, you cannot scroll past it. But we wanted infinite scrolling back and the final build brings it back as you can see regardless of the direction i'm scrolling in you can go on like this forever and of course it applies to the application drawer too which by the way allows you still to have your applications viewed in a list view let's get back home of course if we go into edit there is still the opportunity to have three four five six and seven so seven total home screens you can flip through them like you normally would or if you tap on the small buttons here you will be able to quickly jump to one home screen or the other pinch out and quickly access this is something which i believe htc introduced with its sense Another thing many of you have asked for is how the Samsung Galaxy S2 running ICS handles multitasking. Long tapping and holding on the home button brings you the list of your most recently used applications and you can easily discard one or flip back and forth between them. So here's my uh, Facebook, long tap and hold, I can switch back to settings, long tap and hold, I can switch back to uh, the Play Store which by the way doesn't come included in the new ICS ROM it's still Android market but when you first launch it it will update itself automatically to Google Play Store. Now if you want to close an application or you want to free up some memory you have the button for task manager which is really a Samsung thing. As you can see right now we have 467.65 actually megabytes used out of the total of 831 active applications we have of course Facebook which uh, is using a lot of CPU right now so we might as well kill it and um, if you want to free up memory you can always clear memory and it will jump down to 329 after closing 20 something applications of course long tapping and holding allows you to swipe either left or either right to dismiss or basically to remove an application from the history screen Another thing you wanted to see is how face unlock works and whether it is included or not. We need to go to security, to screen lock and we'll have the option for none. Slide which is basically what I'm using right now, it's your normal unlock circle. Face unlock which is there and I've tested it out, it's working but it's more like a gimmick. Of course you have the pattern, the pin and the password. So face unlock is there. Jumping into the camera, no, unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy S2 running ICS doesn't allow for instant picture snapping. And just to give you uh, an example, let's focus on something. It's focused, bam. But when you don't focus, it takes you approximately three seconds. Let's take the iPhone 4s and snap a picture of it there approximately three seconds so it's nothing new unfortunately um, it didn't inherit all the features of the Galaxy Nexus running Android ice cream sandwich
The browser is typically your ICS browser. Nothing good, nothing bad. It works as it should. It's buttery smooth. It's not jaggy. It's not laggy. It's what you should expect from ICS running on a rather capable device. Now, there aren't many uh, widgets. Basically, there's no additional widget included by Samsung and in terms of pre-installed applications um, the only applications which are new compared to what we had on gingerbread I think I've put them in a uh, folder regardless it's here on my home screen it's uh, Google Plus and Messenger that's all which came included in addition to the gingerbread ROM okay let's jump in and take a look at the battery and you have to take my word for this uh, i fully charged this phone yesterday uh, this morning i didn't fully charge it hence the counter did not reset i unplugged this phone at approximately 97 percent of its charge at around 7 30 a.m now it's 12 15 and i'm still on 77 percent the screen is of course on, it's been taking 39% of the battery usage, but I've been filming this for the past 10 or 15 minutes with maximum brightness and no screen timeout, so I should be around 80, maybe 80 plus percent. Let's get back to the home screen. Now, of course, in terms of uh, performance, day-to-day -day usage, it is very fluid. It's not jaggy at all. I will post some screenshots of uh, several benchmarks so that you can compare it with your own, maybe with a custom ROM you are using. And uh, it will give you a general idea what to expect from the official ice cream sandwich ROM. Just running quickly through the applications here, clock, calendar, music, as you can see, nothing new here. The gallery is still the good old gallery. It's nothing um, out of the ordinary. Google Play Store is something which updated by itself after first launching the uh, Android market. Spotify and Shazam is something I installed on my own. You, so is uh, Twitter, so is Messenger, LinkedIn, Skype. Google Plus and Messenger came pre-installed. Facebook Messenger are, are my own installs. Videos, nothing new here. Of course, we have Google Maps with Latitude. We have Navigation. We have... Um, the task manager, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing new. And of course you have your four hubs, which I don't personally use, as you can tell, they are on my last home screen. Now, many of you out there sent me emails. You wanted to see the task manager and I've showed you that. And also there were many emails that I received of people wanting to see how it's currently updating something yeah it should update shazam so update notifications work uh, actually what i was telling you about is that i received lots of emails asking me to show you the contacts and how samsung handled it luckily aside from the skin top part the uh, contacts are the same as in ics let me just try to find a contact which um, wouldn't mind me showing off his uh, his personal information okay let's see this one as you can see, we have the picture right here. And uh, if I would be connected to Google+, Plus, I would be able to swipe left and then I'd see all the updates in a new pane. So this is pretty much it. If you wanna see something else regarding the ice cream sandwich update, leave us a comment below or leave us a comment in the appropriate post on pocketnow.com. So as a general idea, after using the official ROM for almost a day, we can tell you that it's buttery smooth, but we couldn't expect something else from the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is a phone almost one year old, but it's still one of the top Android phones out there. Uh, well, there's actually a debate whether the Galaxy S2 is better than the Galaxy Nexus. Of course, if we don't take into consideration the huge resolution on the Galaxy Nexus. Still, it's buttery smooth, it looks good, Touch whiz, well, whether you like it or not, it's included. Else, battery life is good, reception is good. We have only good things to say about this. Again, touch whiz aside, it's Android 4.0. This was Anton D. Knight from PocketNow.com taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2 running the official Android ice cream sandwich run. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up.